Hello there. What's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be looking at a solo game called A Gentle Rain. Now, this is a solo or co-op game. We're going to be doing a little review of it, plus a playthrough, because I think it's a very simple game that is probably easier to explain if we just simply play through a whole round of it. It doesn't take that long to play. Uh, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. Uh, this is by Mondo Games, and it's uh, created by Kevin Wilson. And a uh, big thanks to Mondo Games for sending this out. We're going to take a look at... A Gentle Rain. So to set up and play Gentle Rain, all you need is a decent sized area, enough to lay some tiles, because even though it's a small box, you're going to be laying enough tiles to build yourself like a little, kind of like a lily pad type pond, almost like a koi garden, but there's no fish here, it's all flowers. You're also going to have eight discs uh, that represent uh, eight different types of flowers that will be floating in your pond. Uh, these are all different colored flowers also, but they also have different designs. So your orange flower kind of has this, you know, this starburst kind of design. Your red flower has this design uh, and so on and so forth. So all of the different colored flowers have different designs, so it's also very colorblind sensitive. Uh, you're going to be take, picking a tile each turn and connecting it. So uh, we might have a tile like so. Each of these tiles has four different sides that can connect to other uh, other flowers and they have to match up. So you'll start with the top one in the middle of your area and what I'll want to do is connect some other tiles. So let's let's see how this will work. So the first tile I might draw, and this is just a sample, uh, might be this one right here and I would uh, I'd be, I could either play it there or I could play it there but I'd have to make sure that something matched. If it didn't match, I'd have to discard it and draw another one. You don't want to discard tiles either because your score, if you can place all of the tokens, uh, your score will be based on those eight tokens plus however many you get left over. So here we go, we've got um, our next tile and I could either place that on the side there or over here or, or down right here. So I'll do that. And then our next tile, for example, would be something like this and I could go here or I could go right up here. And since both of these do match up, I can then complete a full four square. Now, anytime you complete a full four square, you will have a circle in the center. Once you have totally completed it, you're going to look at the four flowers that are touching white, in this case, white, black, blue, and green. And you'll be able to select one of those from your pile of unplayed tokens. So this will become more complex as the game kind of winds down. In this case, maybe I'll just choose the white flower to go in there. And, uh, and now that one's played. Now I've only got seven remaining. This means any future squares, white will now be worthless to me because I've already played my white flower. Uh, and so that's kind of part of the strategy is you want to get these all played as soon as you can. And then however many you have left are done. So let's, uh, let's play through a full round of this. So now I'm just going to pick up where we left off and uh, kind of zoom out a little bit to give you a little bit more space. So I'm just going to be pulling off of the top here. Um, since I know I've already played the white flower, I'm going to set that off to the side over here and I've got the rest of my tiles here. Um, I'll go ahead and place this one there because I'm hoping since I don't have that many yellows, you know, uh, that's good. All right. So I should have should have a decent number of chances to get these. Um, I'm gonna place this one out. I'm gonna spread out a little bit more over here. And, oh, we got another orange. Um, I can't go there because that won't match up. What I wanna avoid is doing something, like playing something here, and then now I'm stuck having one that has three perfect sides. There aren't any that have um, duplicates. So uh, I'll never want, you know, uh, like, um, you know, having you know like a, a green here and a green on that side or something to that effect so i'm going to try and just kind of spread out and give myself a lot of options here um oh we got that right there um i'm going to go here spread out a little bit more on that side and i'm just going to keep drawing and, and playing now this is this can be played cooperatively because uh you can have the kids sort of help you out and uh, you just take turns placing um, it can be a little tougher there, but yeah, you know, it also can bring the family together, so nothing wrong with that. Um, it can definitely also be a, a challenge to you know, have everybody kind of agree on what to do. So now I've, I've gone and done it. Oh wait, that's actually a bad idea. I don't want to place there because this will be locked out because there will never be a tile that will have both uh, you know, orange on both sides. So um, 
where else do I want to put this? We got blue. I can, I can, I could extend over I, over here on this side. I think I'll do that. All right, we'll go uh, over here. Oh boy, we got red. We don't have a whole lot of reds out there, do we? We've only got, uh, do we only have two reds showing? Oh boy. All right. Well, um, I could extend further down with the black right there. All right. Let's let's do that. I'm gonna run out of room here soon, uh, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, I could go there. Nope, that's the same problem we had before. Don't want to do that. I could go up here like that. I don't. Uh, I don't mind that idea. We're making a lot of sunflowers. A lot of our yellow over here. Um, oh, that doesn't fit there. I kind of like going in zigzag patterns. Um, this one could work. Again, it's still going to be tricky to find that. Do we have a blue, white, and red on the same one? I don't. I don't see a blue, white, and red on the same one. So that it could still be out there. Okay. I'll try that. Um, and we've got another red here. Ooh, this one's going to go right there. All right, we're getting we're getting down to we got about halfway done, and I only have one placed so far. I think you can do better than me. I don't know though. Um, this is we we could go right here. I could kind of extend the green out a little bit this way. That could be tricky though too. I could go this way, then I'd be locking that one in. So I don't know if I want to do that. That's a little bit a little bit tough. All right, we're going down. Right there, ooh, all right, orange, blue, Oh, wait, is that, nope, no, it's not gonna work there. Got another yellow, I could go this way, but no, I, oh, I could go right there, but that would that would kill that square. I could go right here, I could go down a little bit more, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that just yet. Oh, there we go, this is perfect. You probably saw it before I did, if you're paying close attention. You know, we matched, paired the orange and red there, and now we completed another full um, a full uh, circle here. So now I, I have so many oranges. I don't want to take the orange right now because I feel like I'm going to have a lot of more opportunities to get orange. Um, some things that are on the outside. Purple, there's a lot of purples. Purple might be tricky to get, but we've got one up there that I think we'll be able to reach. Um, we don't have purple anyway. Um, red, I have at least one other opportunity over here to get red, and I've already used white. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with the blue. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's keep going. Maybe we're on a roll now. Maybe we're going to get some good stuff. Oh, we got, nope, oh, nope, not right there, not right there. We could go, we could extend this way. Nope. Um, can we go there? Nope. All right, we can, we can put that. Nope. That could go here. That's tricky. I'd rather go right there. Okay. Oh, we've got this one. Oh, that will work. Look at that. That's a beauty. We just completed that one, and hmm, so I can't go with blue, because that one's already been placed. Um, I could go with orange. I, I think I'll go with orange this time. I already, yeah, I think I'll go with orange this time. All right. Um, now we've got green, yellow, purple, and red on this one. Um, purple, nope, that's not going to fit there. How about there? Nope, not going to fit there. Um, there nope, not going to fit there. There, nope. It gets a little tricky the farther you get. You want to you wanna get them in close. That's the best way to, to make it work. But it's not always, it's not as easy as it seems, you know, to, to have, because you want to also finish early and have a lot of tiles left over. The more tiles you have left over. Oh, wait, wait, actually, I don't want to go there. I, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit, but that's okay. I didn't really look at the next tile um, because this would have um, given me an impossible. That would have locked out that. So I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to go down right there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to zoom out. Let me zoom out a little bit because I'm running out of space here. All right, so now we can see a little bit more. Um, let's see, I can, can't go that way. I could do that, nope, that's gonna, nope, that's not gonna work. I could go up there, that locks, no, that kills that. Nope, 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 no, I could go down this way. I don't like that a whole lot. Nope, nope, don't like that either. Let's go right here. We'll try that one out. All right, now we've got black and red, beautiful. All right, we got two black lotuses right there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, although I could get the red. I think I might be able to get the red here, and there's other opportunities over here, so I'm gonna try that. All right, now we've got this one, and we're gonna see, what can we get here? Um, nope. Nope, can't fit that there. We could try and go up a little further. Um, 
I'll try this one. Wait, are we going to be able to get a, a green with a black on the side? Or is that one already taken? No, I don't think it is. I think we, I think we can get it. All right. We got a white one over here, and we got purple and blue. Purple, nope, nope, maybe, nope. I, if, if you guys are probably seeing it, maybe I should have done a live stream of this instead, because then it might have been possible to get some feedback. But then that would, wouldn't that be cheating too? Maybe that would just be another multiplayer variance with everybody helping me out. I'm going over there with it. And. Let's see. I know I, a lot of times I'll do battle reports for the Star Wars games, but this is a little different, right? This is kind of like battle report for a, a solitaire kind of variant. I'm running out of tiles. I've got four tiles left. Now, my highest score right now is eight, or I'm sorry, nine, right? I got all the tiles and I had one tile left, or I got all of these placed and I had one left over. Um, and so this is not as easy as it might appear. Especially if you you know, finish and then you realize you missed something and, and after you've already made like a couple of extra moves and then it's too late to go back. We can't get there. Oh man, I really would love to, to complete something and quickly, but nothing is nothing is working out. But the beauty is it plays pretty quick, so you could always just play it again. Um, I think I'm gonna extend right there and see see if we can we got a bunch of, you know, kind of three ways, uh, you know, almost almost completes. I don't know what we want to call the almost completes. I don't know if there's a slang term for that. Um, but, yes, yeah, so we're getting there. Nope, nope. Um, oh, oh, nope. Nope. How about red? We go up. I don't like that, though. That doesn't, doesn't give me much. We can go there. I don't like that. Well, what the heck? Let's just do it. All right. Oh, 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 almost. We got two of them, but that purple doesn't match up. Oh, man, that would have been something. Okay. Um, after this, I've only got one more. So uh, it looks like this is going to be a low-scoring game for me. Unless I just get... Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. We got that one. Excellent. So I can place uh, either... Well, I can't place black. Yellow, I haven't placed yellow yet, and I haven't placed red. I'm going to, am I going to be able to get a yellow? I don't think I'll be able to get a yellow, but there's a chance I, I could go here or here and get a red. Oh, I could go there. I'm, I'm going to place, I'm going to drop yellow. Let's see if I made the right decision. Um, well, it doesn't look like it's going to matter for the last one. I don't think I'll be able to get anything here. Let's see. No. 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 Nope. Oh, nope. About right there. Nope. We got nothing else. So I t my total score is one, two, three, four, five uh, for all of the tokens that I placed. And I'm, I'll just put this one. Um, gosh, where will I put this one? Maybe down here for shame. There we go. So yeah, I've got three left unplaced. So now, you know, the score to beat is five. See if you can beat this score. All right, guys, so that's Gentle Rain. I think it's a really cute game, and I actually enjoy playing it. I'm not really a big, uh, you know, solo cooperative type of uh, gamer, but in this case, I really enjoyed the experience. I've played it about four or five times now, uh, and I think it's also cool because it's an easy one to play with the kids, even the young kids, because they can just help you kind of match up where you need your pieces to go. Uh, and so it can be really fun to just to play with your young children or just to work, uh, you know, work out solo if you have a little bit of space. Um, it, it can take a little bit of room though, so it's not something that you can play like super easily if you only have about, you know, a very small desktop. So you might, you know, it can, it can spread out a little bit wider as you guys saw in the playthrough. But all in all, uh, I think it's really cleverly designed. It's a very pretty game. The tiles have really a nice kind of look to them. They're very, uh, very cute. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys help make this channel possible. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below if you want to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, uh, we run giveaways all the time, so be on the lookout for winners for that. And we uh, also have a great Discord community if you want to join that. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. And as always, have a great day.